The time to do the transmission flush and fill on a 2017 volt. So the passenger wheel off of here. So you can see right there the bolt in the middle that is the level hole. You gotta take that out after you drain the cool the fluid out of it. And the bolt for that is right here. And then the fill, easy enough, is right here. So the idea is to drain it out, open the level hole, put the drain plug back in, and then fill it up until it starts seeping out of the level hole, run the engine until it gets up to a certain operating temperature, about 113 to 130 degrees. And then fill it again until it starts seeping out. Put the plug back in and put the cap back on and you're done. Let's see how easy that is. This is a 11 millimeter. Drain plug back in, so I'm going to see if I can get some of this Dixron in here. And I'm just going to take a guess about how much it needs to go in, and then check to see if it's dribbling out. I can see it. Okay. Time to start it up. Transmission temperature sensor reading is on my Autel scanner here. It's under hybrid powertrain control module. We'll select that. And go to our live data. Transmission. And go down a little bit. Transmission fluid temperature. Kind of close now. It's supposed to be 113 to 131. That was probably about as close as I'm going to get it right now. I'm tired of waiting. It took about half an hour. Undo this bolt and just try to get a little bit of a dribble out of it. Alright, no dribbles. So, which means I need to add some more transmission fluid. A fresh jug of transmission fluid. We're going to add about a uh, half a quart or so. Alright. We don't need any more. Move one out a little bit. All over the place. And I added in some cold stuff so it dropped down a little bit. Probably added a little bit too much in there. I'm going to wait for this to come down a little bit and put that plug back in. So it's about 113 degrees right now. 